moving on to the next problem in the given circuit with a steady current calculate the potential difference across the capacitor and the charge stored in it again read the problem in the given circuit with a steady current calculate the potential difference across the capacitor and the charge stored in it right so this is a problem they have given and here we are going to discuss so this is a given diagram so here we have 12 volt battery this is positive terminal this is negative terminal and which has two ohm resistor and pass through here and here we there's a point here and goes one ohm resistor and 6 volt battery so plus minus again come back so it reaches negative terminal and in between we have the point b and e we have 6 volt battery so negative terminal and positive terminal and here we have capacitor in this capacitor only they are asking the potential difference and charge of this uh, capacitor right okay and and uh, very clear about uh, this problem this is somehow different problem in flip charts so look at here we have 12 volt battery right minus so 12 volt battery minus sign negative terminal and similarly this is also negative terminal of 6 volt this is also negative terminal of 6 volt okay so don't confuse here that's why i'm telling here so what they are asking across this capacitor what is the voltage drop and how much charge is stored that's why they are asking so across the capacitor means we want to fix this point g so in the diagram they have not provide this point g we need to take the potential difference across this point right across this point means we should use e and g right okay what we are going to do we are going to calculate the what is the flow of current in that entire circuit first after that we want to calculate what is the potential drop across the p b b e across what is the potential difference we need to find out if you find the value of the potential drop across b then we can be able to find out this value because across the potential difference we have some value in the sense we should subtract this value then it will give support uh, the voltage drop across this capacitor right okay now move on to the solve the problems apply cable into the loop a b c d e f a a b c d e f and a right so here i'm going to use to here so the current flow in that direction right yes and i am considering in the anti clockwise direction also so 2 into i the current flow i'm taking as i plus here we have 1 ohm i'm not going to take this one right because i am choosing a b c d e f a i am not considering this one right okay and 2i plus 1i because we have 1 ohm so 1 into i that is equal to 12 minus 6 why i need to go for 12 minus 6 and understand that here we have negative terminal and here we have negative terminal therefore 12 minus 6 we should write that is a rule general rule so this is negative this is positive in the sense we should add but here both are negative terminal we should subtract so 12 minus 6 that will use 6 so 2i plus i that will use 3i 3i is equal to 6 therefore i is equal to 6 by 3 6 by 3 is equal to 2 ampere the current flow in that circuit is 2 ampere that we found okay now what you are going to find the potential drop across b right so we need to find out for that the potential drop across cd is equal to across b the potential drop across cd is equal to the potential drop across b this is a concept in this problem right so the potential difference across cd is equal to the potential difference across b so what is the potential drop across cd so across this point what is the value so we need to calculate b b e is equal to right 12 because we have 12 volt 12 volt minus 2 into i because if you are passing 12 volt through this resistor that is potential drop across this resistor right so v is equal to i into r so i is the current r is the resistor so i into r we should subtract so 12 minus 2i so we need to subtract so what is i value we found 2 substitute here so vbe is equal to 12 minus 2 into 2 2 into 2 is 4 therefore 12 minus 4 is equal to 8 volt therefore the voltage drop across vbe is 8 volt then we should calculate the voltage drop across vge how to calculate so voltage drop across VBE minus voltage drop across VG. So voltage drop across VG. What is the value they are given? 6 volt. So 
VBE we found 8 volt. So 8 volt minus 6 volt that will give 2 volt. That is a charge draw across this capacitor. And what they are asking the charge stored in a capacitor that we have the formula Q is equal to CV. So here we are taken as V is VGE, right? Across the capacitor we are taken as VGE. Therefore Q is equal to C is what is it given? 5 microfarad. Sorry, here I made a small mistake. 5 microfarad, right? So micro in the sense of 10 to the power minus 6. So 5 into 10 power minus 6. So it will use micro coulomb. So it will use micro coulomb, right? Therefore, Q is equal to 10, 5 into 2 into 10 power minus 6 that will use 10 micro coulomb. Q becomes 10 micro coulomb, right? I hope you understand well. See you in the next video.